the number and quality of your mitochondria directly impacts your energy sugars fat obesity diabetes everything in an unfit person the number of mitochondria is one third of the fit person so how to boost the mitochondria i'll be talking about four ways it's a big game changer for moving from unfit to fit from low energy to high energy from high sugars to low sugar and from high fat to fit person that you can become did you know that unfit people have only one third energy factories working in their body as compared to fit people and you might wonder what is this it's about your mitochondria. Mitochondria are energy factories and they are 1.5 trillion in number in unfit people with diabetes, obesity, etc. And those who are fit away from diabetes, away from obesity, etc. They have 4.8 trillion factories working. Besides the quantity difference, in the mitochondria, the energy factories, there's a difference in quality also in terms of the size. The size of fit people's mitochondria is 20 to 30 percent more, and overall inside arrangement of the way the crystals are arranged is very, very different. So, welcome to this fifth episode of getting your body processes in place. And this is on the magic of mitochondria. What you would also love to immediately learn about mitochondria is that the main trigger for mitochondrial density increasing per gram of your muscle and overall in your body is exercise. And there's a lot of confusion over here which will get cleared in this video. So exercise wise, if you want to actually improve the quality and quantity of mitochondria, move from 1.5 trillion to 4.8 trillion, you need to do three types of exercises, two, two days a week. Number one exercise which you need to adopt is the high intensity interval training, like sprints for 12 seconds up to 20 seconds, which will take your heart rate to 90 to 100% of your maximum heart rate. And this is where you need to calculate maximum heart rate. So simplest formula to calculate maximum heart rate is 220 minus your age. So if your age is 50, the maximum heart rate you should go to is 170. And zone 5 training will be at 170. Zone 6 training will be around 153 heartbeats per minute. So if you spend at least 20-30 seconds four to eight times in a particular day and do this for two days a week which means you take your heart rate to anything around 150 160 165 depending of course on your age you will get a huge boost in your mitochondria yes and this knowledge is not known by many people so start getting into some sprints but be careful of your knees know your age know your weight and then only adapt if you can't do HIIT, what you should do that will help you to increase your mitochondria and that is take your heart rate to zone 2 cardio training. Zone 2 would be around 70% of your heart rate which for maximum people will come around 120 heartbeats per minute. And if you can remain in this for at least 30 minutes again twice a week, your mitochondrial density will increase. And third exercise pattern which would be important is resistance training, compound exercises involving your shoulders, chest, legs, calves, thighs, back, everything in two days of gym training, 30 minutes per day. And if you can do all six days of training, two days of HIIT, two days of cardio, and two days of strength, I can guarantee within three, six, nine months, your 1.5 trillion mitochondria will move to 2 trillion to 3 trillion going into an athletic zone of 4.5 trillion plus. And I hope this information has been very useful to you. Besides exercise, hormetic stress also is very useful and hormetic stress not many people are aware of is basically the good stress on your body. For example, climbing a mountain, living in high altitude, staying in the trekkie areas of mountains, 
we might have seen that when you go to mountainous areas the local people climb the mountains so easily and we find it so difficult because their mitochondrial density in their calves and thighs is much higher three or four times higher than us so hormetic stress in terms of high altitude training number two is cold exposure at the end of your bath for 30 seconds take bath with cold water and also sauna which is hot stress you can give that to yourself at least once a week so besides good exercise give yourself hormetic stress improve your supplements there are known supplements which have worked to improve mitochondria like iron magnesium alpha lipoic acid coenzyme q10 creatine and b complex vitamins and you'll get a lot of them from natural foods which we already talked about in the earlier videos fourth and last thing besides exercise besides hormetic stress besides your nutrition and supplements is your sleep and stress so sleep for seven seven and a half eight hours at least going up to nine hours because that will repair your mitochondria and too much of chronic stress over a long period of time will damage your mitochondria so please note mitochondria is the place where you convert glucose and fat into energy if you have bigger number with better quality you will burn more fat you will burn more sugar you will keep diabetes obesity away and if you don't do that you will end up into problems please also note that refined food and high sugary food high fatty food will clog and slow down the mitochondria so hope you enjoyed this particular video this was the fifth in the series be ready for the sixth one and start planning programming yourself to move from 1.5 trillion to 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 4.8 trillion all the best